Hey there, I'm Sankhisa and welcome to Vertical Dots Video Editing Series. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to adjust background music lens according to your video lens in just one minute. I have this background music here. It's 2 minutes 25 seconds long. I like this music track, but I want it to be only 1 minute long. So usually you will cut that music where beat is changing, delete some part, and then apply the fade effect, right? But instead, we will edit it in the Adobe Audition. Right click and click on edit clip in Adobe Audition. The clip will open in Adobe Audition. To change the length of the music clip, we will need to open that clip in multi-track. Click on multi-track. Here you can give it a name. I will call it demo underscore music length. And then you can browse to a location where you want to save it. Hit OK. Now this multi-track session is opened. Drag and drop your music clip on the multi-track session. And here under properties, click on remix. And then click on enable remix. It will analyze the clip. After it's done, when you will hover on the end of the clip, it will show you this icon. That means your clip is ready for remix. Let's move this end at 1 minute. Here you can see the duration of this new clip. Now it's 1 minute 1 second and 522 frames. You can click here to undo this effect. It will go back to its original size. You can increase its length also. Suppose you want your background music 3 minutes long. Then just grab its end and pull it till 3 minutes. And within seconds, you will see the changes. Adobe Audition automatically adjusts the clip according to the length. And when you play it, the music will sound smooth. You won't be able to get the exact length that you are looking for every time because it adjusts the existing beats for smooth transitions. But it does a pretty good job in giving you approximate length within seconds. After you are done, click on File, go to Export, Click on export to Premiere Pro. That way this music clip will open directly in your Premiere Pro project. You can change the file name. Make sure this box is checked for open in Adobe Premiere Pro. Click on export. It will import that file in Premiere Pro. It will ask you if you want to copy that track to your active sequence. In this drop down menu, you can choose the audio track. And when you choose the audio track, suppose you choose audio 2. Then it will copy the music track on audio track 3. It always copy it to the next track. We will select audio 1. Hit OK. You will see this new music clip added to your sequence. And in the project panel, new folder is added. You can delete the previous music clip from your sequence and move new clip up. Before we end this video, I want to quickly show you how this feature is a huge help for me. This is my one of the tutorial videos. Generally, I add music bar at the very end after I'm done with all my editing. Because for these videos, I don't edit on the beats. So what I do is, I check the total length of the video. For example, this is 8 minutes 46 seconds long. Then I edit the music clip in the audition. I just enable the remix feature and increase its length. Then I just click on file and export it to Adobe Premiere Pro. And within a minute, I get this music clip length adjusted according to my video length. Originally, it was 2 minutes 25 seconds long. Now, it's 8 minutes 46 seconds. I hope you liked this video and learned something new. If you did, then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And feel free to share your comments below. I have more video editing tutorials on my channel that you can follow. Bye for now. See you next time.